Lord our God. The Bible says that before God created mankind, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the earth. There was complete chaos, and the raging ocean, which covered everything, was engulfed in total darkness. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, God spoke his word into this darkness and chaos, saying, Let there be light. At his word there was light, and it separated the light from the darkness. God transformed the earth, which was a death form and void, to a new earth, bringing beauty everywhere, creating the heavens, the earth, the plants, the sun, the moon, and the stars. God created all living things, birds that fly about the sky, fish that swim in the water, all kinds of animals. Also, God created man in his own image and likeness. Man was given dominion over all things, which God had created. And there was perfect fellowship between God and man. But man was tempted by the evil one. Sin entered man's heart, and he was taken away from the presence of God. Man would die with sin, and he would never be part of God's everlasting plan for mankind. The spiritual condition of God's children was in darkness. They were ignorant, and there was no hope. They were wicked, evil, and there was total darkness. They would die with their sin, and they would perish. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave that he sent his son, who, that whoever believes in him might not perish, but might have everlasting life. God sent his son to be the light of the world, and save mankind from destruction. Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world, and whoever follows me will not follow the path of darkness, but will have the light of life. We can also see this in John chapter 1, verses 4. And Jesus was light, and the light was the light of men. As it states in Psalm 119, verse 105, those who, your words are lamp to my feet and light to my path, and those who receive Jesus and believe in his word, follow in his path, and will have everlasting life in Jesus. God has called us to walk in this, in this light and become his children and co heirs with Christ, a great privilege given to mankind, not because of what we have done, but because of what Jesus did 2,000 years ago when he died for us on the cross. The Bible says in the first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 5, For all of you are children of the light and children of the day, and those who receive, we are not of the light or of darkness. God's promise in Isaiah chapter 9, verses 1, The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light upon those who dwelt in the land of the gloom. A light has shone. This promise was fulfilled in Jesus. Now there is love, joy, and peace to all who come to Jesus. The true light to all men. When the light comes in, the darkness has to flee. Allow Jesus, the light of the world, into your life. There will not be darkness in any area of your life. Sin and evil deals flee when exposed to God's words and presence. When you follow Jesus, you'll never stumble and fall, for he lights your path, and very soon you'll reflect his light. 